Good morning. It's Thursday. We continue to look at uh, Peter and Cornelius. So we pick it up on uh, just from verse 23, where we finished off yesterday in chapter 10 of Acts. So he invited them in and gave them lodging. And on the next day, he got up and went away with them. And some of the brethren from Joppa accompanied him. On the following day, he entered Caesarea. Now Cornelius was waiting for them and had called together his relatives and close friends. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter raised him up, saying, Stand up, I too am just a man. As he talked with them, with him, he entered and found many people assembled. So here we see now Peter has arrived at the house of Cornelius. He has a few of the brethren also with him from Joppa. Um, there's a lot of excitement on Cornelius' side. He's been waiting. He's done the smart thing and gathered together his relatives and close friends, knowing that something good is about to come because this is from God. When he saw Peter, he fell down at his feet and worshipped him. And now Peter's reaction is very, very important. We see uh, Peter raised him up, saying, Stand up. I too am just a man. And right there is the key to success. I too am just a man. No matter how wonderfully God uses you, no matter what mighty miracles he may do through you, no matter what works you may perform, just remember, I am just a man. I am just a woman. Don't exalt yourself. Don't let others exalt you. We fall into this trap. We find ministers who get big headed because they get put on a pedestal. People exalt them. Yes, we should respect those who are our leaders. Respect is a different thing to worship. Respect is a different thing to exalting. If I do any good, if any good comes from you listening to me, then please don't worship me. Worship the Lord Jesus Christ. This is his word. It's his work. I am just a humble servant like you. None of us is more important. I am no more important than you. You are no, important, no more important than me. Look at your body. All the individual parts of it are important. Each part has a role to play. If we do any good, it's because it's the Holy Spirit working in and through us. So to him be the glory. Peter, through whom God had already done mighty things, simply said, I too am just a man. He understood. He had it right. If you want to be exalted, then humble yourself. If you want to be humbled and brought low to the ground, exalt yourself. All the glory belongs to God. We need to humble ourselves under the, under the mighty hand of God so that in due time he will raise us up. Tomorrow we'll see what wonderful things happened from this meeting. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we do humble ourselves before you. We come before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. And we ask, Lord, that firstly you would forgive us for the times that we have had a big head, for the times that we've allowed our ego to rule, for the times that we have maybe exalted ourselves over somebody else and thought that we were better than somebody else or more important. We realize that we're not. We realize that we too are just men and women. We too have our own place. And Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you that you have... Um, put us together in the body the way that you wished and each one of us has our function and we are grateful for whatever it is and we pray lord that you would help us to faithfully and humbly serve you day by day thank you for the lesson that we learned from peter today father god we just bless and praise and worship you we thank you for this day we ask your blessing over our country over our leaders we pray lord that you give them wisdom and understanding and help them these are strange and difficult times these are times when people have wholesale walked away from you and we, we need, Lord, a return to you. We need reformation. We need, Lord, revival. We need people to turn back to you. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who have to make decisions that you would help them make the right ones. Father God, we pray for those who live under tyranny and we pray that you would just uh, relieve them and help them and Father, we pray for those who are being persecuted for their faith. Forgive those that persecute them. They don't know what they're doing. Heavenly Father, we also lift up before you the lost. And there are so many all around. We pray, Lord, that you help us to be a good witness, that your light would shine in and through us. We pray, Lord, that many would come to know you today. We pray for the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. We pray, Lord, for those who mourn. We pray that you would comfort them with the comfort that only you can give. 
We pray for those who are just struggling in life. We pray, Lord, that you would help them to seek you, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that everything else will be added unto us. All our cares, our burdens, we cast upon you. We choose the road of humility. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand. We realize that apart from you, we can do nothing. But with you, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So to Christ alone be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Hear us now, Father, as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.